clan snatcher. We are obviously a green butt, or a lane green butt, which is a great pattern. But normally a lot of people will tie the snatchers with cock hackles, and this one's going to be tied with hen hackles. Make it much softer, it's more a wet fly than anything. Uh, a lot of people will be using the cock hackle, it'll help them obviously lift the fly a wee bit higher. But using the hen gives you a much softer, uh, very mobile type fly, obviously better below the surface. And it's quite simple to tie. For the tag I'm just going to use a UTC thread, and in this case this is a fluorescent green. And it's a light, it's a 70. You can get the heavier version which is good. Now all I'm going to do is at the back form a small tag with it. So catch it on. Three or four turns down and form small tag with it. Now I'm just looking at the way it's sitting. And I'm happy then I can oh, use either some varnish in this case. We drop a super glue onto the thread. And this will secure it, make it last. Make sure there's no nothing left. Quickly take the thread up. Now I'm trying to keep the, the body as thin as possible. Now I've changed over to a uni black an 8 uh, which is obviously to suit the colour of the rest of the fly. Now as I say I'm gonna try and keep the fly as thin as possible. Now I'm using a fine hook. The hook I'm using is the is a G point in the Gamma Gatsu and it's a buzzer light, in this case a size twelve. Uh, these are size fourteen, size sixteens are sort of three sizes I'm tying. Now I've used a pearl ribbon this fly as well as a silver ribbon. I'm using a silver ribbon, it's a fine silver wire. Now I'm just using I'll tying it in the way back down to save bulk again. All the way down to the tag. This point, it's fine. Now, Dubbin's a blend of rabbit dyed black and seals fur. Obviously dyed black. This helps bind it a wee bit better and keeps it quite thin. And and how using the rabbit, it's a wee bit softer. So, and then just imagine tying or dubbing the body that would suit a buzzer. Or a midge. Keep it thin, as thin as a hook. Stretch it out and twist as you go up. That's fine. For the hen, just using a, just a Chinese hen dyed black. Using the small feathers at the bottom. Don't want the fibres too long. Now they're not very big hackles, so. Now, I'm going to tie this in on the butt, just remove some of the fluff. Give me a wee bit more grip, I'm just going to wax my thread at this point. And then remove the waist. Now to help wind it down, I'm just going to use a pair of hackle pliers, just get a wee bit, a wee bit longer to hold, a wee bit, makes it easier to hold the hackle. Now, as you'll see, starting to twist on you, so try and get it to sit the best you can, but don't worry too much. I want to take this down as quick as I can, it, it will twist on you these hackles. So you get to your rib. And then just basically do a straight turn at the back, top of the tag, and then just going to make sure I can I'm going to catch in too many of these fibres, but don't worry too much, because you can always use Velcro and bring them back out. Quite close turns with the rib. Looking maybe five, six times. Take away the waste, and it just breaks off easy. Now what I'm going to do here is just holding the rib tight, and we draw back the fibres. Bring it up, follow it with the thread, 90 degree bend into the wire. And then tidy up. There we go. Bend and break away the wire. Be quick look, see what it looks like. You can get the Velcro if you want a wee bit more of the dubbing to come out, but or even bring out some of the fibres as I said, 
because if you catch them in, the Velcro can pull them back out. Yeah, that should do it. Now for the front hackle, I'm just using a natural brown or red coloured hackle. Tighten by the tip this time. Keep the fibre length much the same as the, the body. As it turns down. Turn that away. Back to my hackle pliers. Just to give me make it easier. With these small hackles now they see they're quite delicate hackles, so take your time with it. And then Depends on how good the fibres are. I mean, these are quite thin fibres on this hackle, so I'm just going to use up as much as I can. Drawing them back, winding one turn in front of the other. Cross your thread, make sure it's caught in. Trim away the waste. Any of these fibres going forward, like the, just draw them back. And then obviously tidy up. There we go. They quite look. That's fine. You want it like that, quite soft. Now you could put legs on it. I mean, pre-tied pheasant tail legs, which I've done. Uh, you can leave it as it is and tie it off. Or what I'm going to do is use up some of the I've got some split jungle cork yeah. eyes. Draw back the fibres that you don't need. You can pull them off if you want. Try to save bulk. Now what you want to try and do is encourage them to go down one side or split down either side and line with the hook. So I'm holding the ends here. Come round with a couple of turns. Put some tighten up in the second turn. And just look to see how they're sitting. Now if you're happy you can actually then put a few more turns in and tie off. If you're not you can still move them around. I want to go back because I'm not happy. Sometimes putting it on and taking it back off will make it sit better. Right, just want it slightly more on my side. It was slightly under. It's fine on there. Looks okay there, that's fine. Wax on your thread, gives you the grip. Now you can fold this back. Now we two or three turns in. Front of the, the feather. Trim away the waist. Now you have folded back some of the fibres. So hopefully you've started to draw them back. And build the thread turns from the, the eye up. Drawing these back. Should tidy up if you take your time. And what will happen by doing this, tying it this way, the jungle cork will not pull out. Absolutely solid. And then keeping the thread tight, go straight in and whip finish. Tighten up. Turn away your thread. There we are. Now what I'm going to do here, speed up the process of varnishing the head. It's going to come down with a touch of super glue. Just be careful you don't touch the, the feathers. That will dry really quick. Make sure you've got nothing in the eye. Using that's just a waste piece of wire line my desk to clean it out. Doesn't take long to dry. And then a minute or two you can put a coat of varnish on it. So I'm going to do it just now, just to show you all the way around. Now, super glue does go off. Gets kind of takes longer to cure the older it gets. And it gets tacky and you don't want that. So it's a fresh pot of super glue. And uh, as I say, dries even quicker. And once you put the varnish on, clean the eye out. There we are. Now, 
It doesn't look a lot, but it's a really good fly to have in your box.